Hi Church, it's Phil here with a quick family update. Um, just want to keep up to date with what's happening. Uh, not so much to give you information, but really to raise some questions today. The first thing I want to highlight though is just really, um, I suppose how different it feels uh, in, in starting the year this year. There's a bunch of people a little overwhelmed, there's a bunch of people still really tired as a result of the last couple of years. And so really just want to uh, say, look, let's all operate with some extra grace. Let's give each other some room, some space. Let's be careful how we commit. Let's be careful what demands we put on each other. Uh, but in this time, can I say this with emphasis? Can I say it again and again and again? This is not the time to be disconnected. I think it's vital that we comprehend that we get energy, we get life from each other. Even if you're an introvert, God has designed you to, to be uh, strengthened, to be filled up uh, by being with other believers. And so I want to talk about that because uh, in this season of Temple and Table, particularly under the red traffic light, the elders have decided we're not meeting in the building under red traffic light. So table becomes so much more vital. A meeting in an environment where we can have a little bit more of an intimate space, where we can have some fellowship, some food, we can break bread and have communion together, we can pray for each other, we can discuss uh, God's word. It's all out of Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. Check it out. But I want to talk about the table because this is a, an evolving thing. And the honest truth is, I really feel a little relaxed about not having all the answers. Um, so what I want to do is I want to highlight some questions because I want you to be thinking about them. But I also want to acknowledge that I haven't come to bring you the answers to those questions. So I've, I've got them written down. So let's have a look at those questions now. One of the questions is, is this table gathering random or is it organised? And, and it's a fantastic question, and the answer is probably in the question. Uh, I think it's both, but that's not a decision. <laughs> that's kind of like, you can gather in a more formal, structured way with the same people every week, if you want. Uh, you might be more comfortable in inviting different people to your table each week, and you might even be comfortable in doing it in a different environment each week, and that's totally okay. Um, but it's a really good question. Are we gonna formalize this? or are we gonna keep it organic? So I want you to think about that. I want you to consider what would you prefer and how do you best operate? And I, I also think that we should wait and see what God does. Uh, the second question is, um, will there be a challenge in allocating people to groups? Um, again, let's, let's not answer the question. Um, there are always challenges with people. If you get people, you get challenges. Um, some of you are happy to travel, some of you are happy not to travel. Some of you have children that want to be with other children and others of you are perhaps not looking for an environment with high levels of energy. Uh, so let's just keep it fluid, um, but let's make sure we don't neglect to gather together. That's the key thing that I would get through here. Is this something that we're doing permanently? Well, I think the answer to that question is found in the season where nothing is permanent. Currently, we're holding everything loosely. Uh, so no decision on timeline, no decision on fixed timeline for groups or gatherings. Let's just gather as we can. You know, if you're comfortable gathering around a table, let's do that. Let's, let's encourage that. Let's, let's, let's really, really focus on that. And let's discover what God's got for us. And I think in the tension of the unknown, we come into the place where God reveals things to us because we're open to new things. So let's break down paradigms, let's break down traditions, and let's be open to what God's saying to us. Here's, here's a really great question. How does a person get to attend a group if no one invites them? I'm just going to let that hang there. How does a person get to attend a group if no one invites them? It reminds me of Paul's words in Romans chapter 10. And how will they hear the good news unless someone tells them? And I'll leave that with you. Hey, I just want to leave those questions with you and, and perhaps leave the tension of the lack of an answer to create room for God. Uh, so let us all be tuning our ears in to hear what God would say to us. Uh, this is a season, a, a window of time where God is going to speak to people. It's been confirmed through our prayer times. The Zoom prayers are still going and God is still speaking to us through the scriptures. And just this week, 
He was saying to us through the scriptures, Jeremiah 33, that I am coming to speak. If people will linger, they will hear my voice and I will reveal things to them. Uh, you can read that for yourself in Jeremiah 33 and see what God says to you. So let's allow the tension to reveal what God's got for us. Uh, keep safe. Try and keep sane. Uh, we just declare God's blessing and covering and peace and grace over all the children as they go back to school and over the parents as they support their children to get back to school. For those of you starting new things this year, we also declare God's peace on you. As always, if there's anything we can do to support you, if you're uncertain about where to gather or how to gather or how do you stay connected, the best thing you could do would be to email the office info at zionpeople.nz and Carla will pick that up and we'll make sure the right person gets in, in touch with you and make sure we support you as you um, stay connected. So may God bless you and I look forward to catching up with you soon.